Hi guys, it's Shannon from Yanomize and welcome back to T-Way. This week at Yanomize, episode 32. It is cold, it's snowing, so I'm gonna start walking. Right, as we walk here, we don't care about Bert's car. What? The BMW M4 Competition Heritage, one of 750 in the world, 75 in the UK, supplied by legends at BMW Park Lane. All right, okay. First car you're gonna see is my Lamborghini Urus. Yes, it has been stripped. I told you I was stripping it. No, I'm not selling it. I actually have put a sports exhaust on actually. Elle will show you right now when I pulled in and I just had it fitted. Is that um, powerful? Yeah. God damn. Is that Jan's Urus? What are we saying about that? Loud. Very, very loud. It's loud, isn't it? Yeah, I know it's loud when he's not come outside. <laughs> Sounds cool, doesn't it? Uh, the van's there, covered in snow. As you can see, it's still snowing here. People might think, where, do we, where are we? We're in North London. It's snowy and it's cold. Very, very cold. Clever's still here. The, the Defender's still here. And only one V-Class is here, but that is pretty much finished. Derek Chisora's car has finally left. This is me giving Derek Chisori's car back. You know I keep going on about Derek Chisori's V-Class. It has finally left and it is back with him. <laughs> Derek, you've been about your V-Class for how long, man? About five months. Um, it's finally finished. You just test, you just tested it. Are you happy? I'm happy. Yeah? I'm not happy about the bill, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's been with me that long. He needed to pay a big bill. But it's, listen, he gets paid to fight for a living and you know he makes good money. When are you fighting next? Tell them. Uh... Don't worry about a big announcement coming soon. Okay, so guys, stay tuned. Check out Derek Chisora. His V-Class has finally gone. I'm heading back to work. See you later. See you later. So as we walk in here, you might see the cloths on the floor. This is Nika Mark's invention. What it is, because obviously the, the grit outside, if you step on that and you walk around the unit, it leaves a mess. Whereas you step on this, then it doesn't happen. Nika might like to work in a very clean, clean, clean environment. You know what, I'm actually gonna address something that I just said his name. His name's Nico. In Greek, Nigo is the equivalent to Nico. So when you hear me say Nigo, understand what I'm saying. Where people will always be like, at time code such and such, did you hear what Yanni said? Did Yanni really say that word? No, Nigo, Nico. Anyway, addressed it. Uh, Bentley GT is in, it is going. Nardo Grey, the original Nardo Grey is back. Um, this is a great color. Great, great color. It's gonna be outside only because the car's black and the customer doesn't want inside the shuts done. Um, the boys pretty much have just started it. Wing and bonnet have been done. This will be finished in about half an hour. Chrome Pink McLaren. This is the other Chrome Pink McLaren. So we've got two of them here. This is one here right now. It's now been wrapped, it was a front end. Um, needs to be fitted back up. And in the corner, hi Chris. How we doing? How are you? Very good. We've got a satin chrome red Lamborghini Huracan with a Nero body kit on it. That looks so good. What would you have? Would you have the McLaren or would you have the Lamborghini Huracan? I know what I'd have. Lambo. All day, every day. Let's go see Sal. Let's go see my mate Sal. Oh, Sal. Hi, Sal. Hi, Yanni. How are you? Nice to see you. Too. Nice to see you, mate. Are you well? Yeah, very well, thanks. How's the family? Yeah, all good. Everyone good? Yeah. Anything I can do for yourself? No, nah, no. Nah. Nice warm in here. That's the most we can do. Working on a G-Wagon? Yeah. What colour is it? It's matte grey. <laughs> you know, Sal and Bert have issues with deciding <laughs> knowing what colours cars are. Um, this is having full PPF? Yeah. Full this belongs to Jack Duncan, actually. Jack Duncan's the one that's got the green perf, the Aston Martin Volcom. He's got a fleet of cars. And um, this is another one. He was actually on Yanni Supercar Customizer. That's actually on at the moment. If you're watching TV on day, if you're watching, I think from seven o'clock, seven to late or eight till nine, it's actually on every single day. They're playing about all the episodes, 40 episodes with three series. And you know, the show's actually shown all over the world, in Brazil, in Finland, in, um, in Argentina, in Australia. So not bad, eh? Not bad. Anyway, so that's the G-Wagon. There's not really much to say, is there? PPF, we're, we're disturbing Sal. You can see he's waiting for me, so we're gonna go. I don't want to get angry with me. Bye, Sal. Bye, Sal. Sal, Sal. 
Stop all that, stop all that. Forget all that MOT and oil changes and brake changes and washer fluid. Everything's topped up. Don't worry about that. I am sorry to interrupt. It's your boy Daniel from Asheville, but this is T-Way. Guys, you saw a couple of weeks ago, I was upstairs with Yanni on T-Way and I was talking about all the building work we were going to do. Well, we started it over the weekend. We did Saturday and Sunday. We got the bulk of it done. And now let's go upstairs and see how we're getting on. We're upstairs, it's your boy, the king of rapping. So let's have a look. Uh, Asheville are progressing really well. As you can see, all the walls are in place. They've been doing all the filling, sanding. Doors are in, door frames are in, door stops are in, architrave is in, doors are on, locks are on. The boys are pushing on really well. Uh, while I'm here, I just wanna say that Daniel's a great guy. I'm happy that he's my friend and I am the one fully benefiting from this friendship and I love him dearly and I look up to him and I respect him. He's like my big brother. I didn't get a chance to say that previously, but I'm glad me, Yanni Shalalambus, the MOT mechanic has got that out in the open. Let's go inside. Uh, this is the piece of glass that was previously used over the other side. So we saved it and we've managed to slot it in here. We're gonna finish this off in a sec with some beading to hold it in place. Nearly everything here is ready for painting. Now, um, the previous paint that was used, we have a tin of it. It's got all the RAL codes, etc., on it but we're gonna use that to get the paint. However, once we paint these walls in the same color the other wall is, this wall is gonna look different. So I have a feeling that I'm gonna end up asking Daniel to paint everything up here so it all matches. And um, what did Daniel leave in this room while the walls were being built? I'm glad I'm getting the chance to address this. Well, I called Daniel the other day and I blamed Daniel and I blamed Asheville because there was a pool table left in here and the wall was built. Now I think about it, I, me, Yanni, Shalalambus, should have taken the pool table and moved it before because the boys on site didn't know. So I, me, Yanni, Shalalambus, I take full blame for nearly leaving the pool table in here, building the wall around it and having it stuck in here. But luckily, Daniel's a great guy. He's quick, he's responsive, he's smart. He's all of those things. So Daniel was able to call the team and get the pool table out. This is going to, he's quick, he's going to, he's responsive, he's going to, he's smart, he's going to fit nicely here once we're done. Once this is in place, we'll miter cut here, miter cut there. This will all butt up nicely. And then we could put a little base coat on this. It's a bit of wood filler. And then we could paint all of it, it'll be nice. We're gonna order this piece of glass, but that will take a few days to come. So once the glass comes, that will go in place and then we'll put some beading around that and decorate that also. So, uh, I was off yesterday um, having meetings because I'm working on some crazy things. And this is on my desk. Now you're thinking, hold on a minute, Jan. You've already got 100,001 and you've already got a million one. And we know you ain't hit 10 million. Ain't that the truth? I'm nearly at 2 million though. However, um, my friend Daniel from Asheville got three of these. Um, he hit 100,000 subscribers. And you might be thinking, well, why did he get three firstly? And why have you got one? How much cooler is his 100,000 plaque compared to mine? Well, obviously mine was done a long, long time ago. The reason he got me this is because he said I helped him. I got him to a stage with Instagram um, and really helped pushing him. It's been a year. He had about 3,000 followers about a year and a half, two years ago, and he's got nearly 80,000 on Instagram now. He's got over 200,000 on YouTube. Um, and this is just him saying thanks for your help. Um, so between myself and Ara, who Ara the coach, um, at So Incredible, he got one for us each to say thank you. And it's always nice, you know, when, when you do stuff for people, it's just nice for people to say thanks. Um, I don't do things because I want anything in return. I don't want money. I don't want the fame. I don't want, I don't just, if you do stuff for people and they say thank you and they appreciate it, that, that's what it's about. So Daniel, I appreciate you, brother. So here we have it guys, completed in satin dark gray with a fluorescent green edition one stripes. The CLA has been completed for Ace of Sports. So everyone always says satin dark grey is Andrew's colour. It's not necessarily that it's my colour. However, if a customer comes in and says I'm after a satin or matte grey option, I'll lay out all of the greys, whether that be matte or satin greys, light, medium and dark greys. I will say to them, the ones that you immediately dislike, let's get rid of them. As they go through, they generally get rid of all the light ones if they're after a dark satin grey like this customer was. Um, and then out of the few remaining dark greys or satin greys this has a metallic element and for me and for most of the customers because they're the ones who choose it it's the best <laughs> so there you have it that's how we get to satin dark grey pretty much all of the time when a customer comes in and says i'm looking for a satin on matte grey cool. it's not me it's the customer and the customer's always right and the customer is always right laters
Right, so in today we've got a Range Rover Vogue. What we're going to be doing with this is uh, AV input and re-entertainment for the kids. So if you'd like to come over here and I'll show you what we're doing. As you can see, um, the car's in pieces. Uh, what we normally do is we strip every panel so we don't have to bend nothing to run cables. Everything's run free and fresh. So both seats out straight away. Then what we do is we deal with the front section. So the screen comes out and underneath the passenger seat on this specific vehicle is the actual main brain for the head unit. So what we'll do is we'll get to that, run all our modules, run all our leads, do a couple of checks. And then what we'll do is uh, I'll show you how we're going to install the rear headrest entertainment. So what you'll have is he'll be able to play images at the front and at the back for the kids or separate. Headrest time now, so as you can see, I've taken the headrest off. A bit of a mission on this one, but we managed to do it. Can you stop the banging, please? Back on the Range Rover Vogue. Headrest are out now. As you can see over here, we've already installed one. I'm gonna show you quickly what we do. So we pop the headrest out. All our cables are run. Then what we're gonna do, we're gonna mount the housing on these arms, put everything together, and the other screen will look like this. As we walk into this unit, we've got a Range Rover here. Um, you would have seen Pav put a, a system in this. This is like an audio visual job. Pav loves those sort of jobs. Yes, he strips and fits cars, but his background, his love, his passion is audio. Um, he also does the trackers and the ghosts. But yeah, I'm sure there was some footage on this. You also got a Tesla that's just turned up for a checkup. This guy is a badass martial artist. So if you look, that, there's, there's like the giveaway, like this here. See here. So the Pimp McLaren is here. Yes, we have got one over there, which I said to you. Um, the owner that owns this used to own that one as well. Uh, but now he owns this one and someone else owns that one. That one has now been repaired. This one is now his fresh one. Um, this one's been ready for a while now. I said to the customer, can I keep it here so I can actually film them both together? He's like, yeah, no problem. So yeah, it'd be quite cool to have two cars that look exactly the same with the wrap. Um, so yeah, cool. All right, so it's my uh, first week here now. It's Friday today. Uh, I've had a, such an amazing week. Uh, obviously, I get on with everyone, so that's not an issue. I mean, I fit in just like everyone else did. Um, this is my first car that I've actually uh, started just wrapping on my own. So, I mean, I've got the rear door, uh, front door, wing, bonnet, and the top side of the rear quarter. So, yeah, it's going well so far, but this place is so much easier. Like, I just get left alone to do my panels and everything I do can be taken as much time as I need to be, as long as it's perfect for the customers. So, be compared to last time and like the businesses I've worked before, it's always been like kind of rush, 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 instead of take your time and make sure everything's perfect. It's kind of rush quickly, you key and you need to get this out of the door by the end of the day. So, I mean, I kind of really enjoy it now that it's just left alone and just make sure that panel's perfect. And that's how I like to work. So yeah, I'm really happy with it. Satin Metallic Space Silver. Hmm, do we prefer this Tesla or do we prefer that Tesla? It's got the same wheel, except he's got like the green pinstripe round it. It's actually quite cool. This Jag is back, Jaguar SVR. This, this, I'll be honest, this customer here, we shot a video of him for Get Licensed. He's like, he's like security. And this car's been back like three, four times. Why? Because we've been so busy, it just comes in for little jobs to just get it throughout. So we fitted a ghost to this, then it went away, then it came back. Then we tinted the window, it went away. It come, it's now come back for uh, the roof. I think, and is that the final thing on this, Tell? Uh, we did roof and rear lights. Roof and rear lights. I think this car's now finally finished. Um, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, what else have we got? What else have we got? We've got Kian in the corner, he's just standing there. Remember Kian? Kian's the new guy from Cardiff. A lot of people did say, um, he's the one that's got a McLaren. I'm like, yeah. They're like, is he the new bleep bleep that used to work for me? No, he's not. No, he's not. He's a lot nicer. Um, okay, and this one here, yeah. Space Silver, lovely white interior. Nightmare if you're wearing blue jeans. Um, but yeah, I think the wheels go with the car. It's cool, it's cool. We're Tesla fans, we like Elon. That's it, I think that's the end of the video. I think we're gonna end the video right now. It was cold, um, but we're here, we're busy, thank God. Um, all my staff are in. Thanks for watching. I guess I'll see you in the next one. Take care, see you later.